Hi, my name's Natasha and I'm going to talk to you about this material. This is D3O. It is a non-Newtonian fluid. That means it will behave very differently depending on how long you give it to react. It is a polymer, it has long chains of molecules all balled up together, sort of like this spaghetti here, and we're going to think about its structure as we think about its properties. So if you give it time, those long chains of molecules will flow over each other, it's gooey, it's sticky, and it behaves like a liquid. If you don't give it any time to react, they lock together, it behaves like a solid, that force is spread out over a larger area, and it protects my fingers. So we're going to do an experiment with this, where we drop a steel ball bearing on some gooey D3O. Ready? It bounces. What happens is, those long chain molecules lock together, it behaves like a solid, but it's still a polymer. So those long chains can curl up, and when they return to their original shape, they actually return all of that energy to the bounce. Now I have some foam here. This is a solid material with air pockets inside it. So we're going to see what happens when we drop the ball on this. It still bounces. What's happening here though, is the air is squashed out of those air pockets and as they return to their original shape, it returns all of the energy to the bounce. Now, as scientists, what we like to do is we like to ask questions and we like to make guesses about what we think will happen and then test those guesses. Here I have some D3O foam. We have seen how bouncy the D3O is, we've seen how bouncy the foam is, and now I want you to think about how bouncy you think a D3O foam will be. And we're going to test it out. Ready? It barely bounced at all. That's extraordinary. This is why as scientists we have to test the guesses that we make, because sometimes something really amazing will happen. Here, the impact of the ball bearing makes it behave like a solid, locks the polymers together and squashes the air out of the foam. But then, because it has longer to react, those polymers can then flow, accommodate the shape change, but also absorb some of the energy of the impact. This makes these incredible impact resistance materials. If you're a cyclist, you can wear a sheet on your back. And what happens is they're flexible, they're comfortable, but if you fall off your bike, not only do they lock together like a solid and spread the force out over a larger area, but the movement, the flow of the polymers when they're behaving like a liquid also absorbs some of the energy. I hope you've enjoyed learning about non-Newtonian fluids, but also how we can harness the science for everyday use. My name is Natasha. Thank you very much. Thank you.